Spending time in the great outdoors is popular, of course, in the Carolinas, whether it's biking, hiking, or climbing to great heights to snap the perfect picture. And 7 News anchor Kelsey O'Donnell takes us behind the scenes in a 7 News exclusive to show us the intense moments that local first responders undergo for ropes and rescue training. Mountains at times are peaceful, filled with wildlife and a view people climb to see. This particular spot, Bald Rock, a South Carolina oh, hotspot for God. hikers. It's one of several locations that are at times sites of rescue missions. They're doing low angle rescues um, where they're practicing going down checking a victim out, checking the, their vitals, their, the, um, finding out what the injuries they are, packaging them up properly, and then p retrieving them and pulling them back up the mountain. That's Steve Hunt, Special Ops Coordinator for Emergency Services in Greenville County. And these are the men and women of Task Force 6, Greenville County EMS, fire, local deputies, and other first responders training for low angle rescues. If we've got this guy that has taken a bad stumble and he's hit his head and we have no idea what's wrong with him, we're going to want to be able to move him as safe as possible. They're the kind of people you call for the most challenging rescues. We're going to be tilting them back and forth, left and right. There. And here, the ones who go over the edge to help. They might have a seizure or some chest pain. We'll assist them out. Most of the calls are injuries to an angle or leg. This was uh, static and not dynamic. These first responders are learning what to do if someone gets stuck with an injury. Hey man, we're here to help you, okay? So, they use drones to help. If it was somebody that had fallen off this rock, they could fly the drone down and actually get a, a view of where that person is. Are they on a ledge? They can even zoom in close enough to tell you if, you know, if they're breathing. Then they work to identify an anchor point. We're not always blessed to have big trees or a big solid anchor. So here we're working on a multi anchor system. Robert Trusty has been with the task force for nearly a decade now and says that these rescue missions may not be frequent, but first responders still need to be ready. Refreshing on just the different style of knots and the different anchor points. Low angle rescues are hard work. It takes a tremendous amount of communication and teamwork. After learning the skills to rescue a patient, these crews behind me here on Bald Rock put it into action. This scenario, learning to rescue someone injured in a location that's challenging to access. Well, up at the top, first responders hoist themselves in harnesses and rappel down the rock to provide aid. We need to fully immobilize. This is Elizabeth Franco's first time learning the ropes. Usually you only have, you know, one fire department with you and your partner on the ambulance, um, but different situations can turn quickly. Listening was huge. Um, communication was really important during that whole thing. With the partner I was with, and we added more partners to people that were at the top. Then it's back to safety at the top. The more you do it, the more you learn, and that way when it comes time to do the job, you just fall back on just muscle memory. And it's the training that will continue year after year. That way when the calls arrive, these first responders are prepared. In Greenville County, Kelsey O'Donnell, 7 News. And thank goodness for the work they do. Greenville County Emergency Management says they respond to about five to ten rescues just like these between now and the end of the year.